Let's take a look at how to use punctuation in your IELTS writing task one and task two correctly. Specifically, this lesson will focus on the period and the comma. For lots more help with the exam, download our app, Academic IELTS Help, and join our premium package at www.aehelp.com. Again, for this lesson, we have partnered with Skillshare, a world-class platform that lets you learn from expert instructors, whether it's photography, computers, or grammar. Join Skillshare today. Use this coupon code to get your first two months for free. Try Skillshare and begin improving for the next time you sit the IELTS exam. Now watch and learn. Using punctuation correctly in task one and task two essays are absolutely critical to get those high band scores. Punctuation shows correct grammar. It creates the flow of the essay. It allows for connections among your ideas. So you have to practice using them well. First, let's take a look at using the period. The period in the English language marks the end of a sentence, or it is often used as well to abbreviate words. In the IELTS exam, a common mistake is where to put the period. The period should always come after the last letter of the last word in a sentence. There is no space between the letter and the period mark. As well, make sure to leave the space after the period before beginning your next sentence. Of course, the first letter of the next sentence has to be a capital letter. It is not a good idea to use too many abbreviations in your task one, task two essays. Instead, you should write them out. However, when giving answers in the listening and reading sections, you may want to use abbreviations. For example, months of the year. Instead of writing December and potentially making a spelling mistake, you can simply write DEC followed by a period. Make sure to pay attention to these details. If you make mistakes with the placement of the period, it will decrease your band score. All right, now let's take a look at the comma. Using a comma can be quite tricky. There are 12 different general rules for comma use in the English language. We'll look at three of the important ones today for the IELTS exam, task one, task two essays. You can find all 12 of the rules with this link also included in the stream description. Now, the comma works the same as the period in its placement. It comes after the last letter of a word and followed by a space before the next word begins. Make sure to be consistent. It's very important that your commas look like commas and not like periods. Have a very clear difference. All right. So the first very important reason to use a comma is to separate a list of words, like in this example here. Secondly, the comma is used to join similar phrases or two sentences which follow the same idea. This comma comes before the coordinating conjunction. There are a set number of coordinating conjunctions in the English language. For, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. 
You can simply remember this with the mnemonic device fanboys. These coordinating words are used to join together two likewise sentences. And of course, using the comma. Take a look at these examples here. Using the comma in this way creates better flow in your information and in your essay. Now, the third very important place to use a comma in your writing is with subordinating conjunctions. There are many different subordinating conjunctions categorized according to condition, cause and effect, opposition, and time. Subordinating conjunctions are used to create complex sentences. Complex sentences are made up of the main clause and the dependent clause. The main clause is also called the independent clause, and the dependent clause is also called the subordinate clause. When you have a sentence where the main clause comes before the subordinate clause, you do not need a comma before the subordinating conjunction. Take a look at this example here. However, in the English language, you can reorganize the dependent and independent clause. The dependent clause can precede the independent clause, in which case you need to use the comma before the subordinating conjunction. Take a look at the same example, reorganized, where the subordinate clause precedes the main clause. All right, now have a look at this sample paragraph where we use the comma for all three of these reasons. Make sure to practice correct comma usage at home before your next IELTS exam. See more lessons like this one on punctuation for semicolons, colons, hyphens, and quotation marks. Download our app today, Academic IELTS Help, from your Google Play or Apple App Stores. As well, join us on our world-class website at www.aehelp.com and begin improving your band scores today. Subscribe to our channel, click over here, watch more videos, click right here, or click our IELTS Hero for over 100 hours of complete video lessons and six original practice exams to help you pass IELTS.